Chardenko continues to push his Soviet forces into Western Europe, seizing control of key regions left behind by the retreating allies. Great Britain now stands as the last European nation yet to fill the jackboot of Soviet aggression. That might be short-lived, however, as sources tell us that a vast Soviet armada has been spotted off the northern coast of France. Commander, I'm Field Marshal Robert Bingham, Chief of the Allied Military Command. I've been told that you're a very capable officer. Well, let's hope this assessment is correct, as all our senior commanders are now fighting in Europe, leaving the defense of Great Britain entirely in your hands. I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Ava. She will be your intel officer and communications liaison. Glad to have you on board, sir. Field Marshal, the President is ready for you. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet our new commander on the ground. Greetings, Commander. You ready to send those commies running back to their mommies? I sure hope so, because if you don't stop them over there, the only thing standing between those godless Reds and the U.S. of A. is going to be one little ocean. I absolutely agree, Mr. President. We cannot allow the Soviets to secure a foothold in Great Britain. The fate of the free world depends upon it. Soviets have conquered much of Europe with brute force. Now, they are trying to invade England by attacking a virtually defenseless civilian city, Brighton Beach. Commander, we must hold the line and defend against the Soviet advance. If they take Brighton Beach, it's a straight shot to London. All of Europe will fall. We cannot let that happen. Hello, capitalist dogs. I am General Krukov, the one who will bring you defeat today. Brace yourselves for the might of the Red Navy. We will pound your little island until you weep for mercy. Good. Congratulations, Commander. You sent those bastards packing. They'll bloody well think twice before they try to invade us again. That was a win-win for everyone, Commander. Well, not the Reds. For them, it was more of a lose-lose. It's too bad our other commanders don't have your can-do attitude. I'll tell you what, Bingham, I like this new commander. Let's send him to France so he can kick a little more commie butt. Actually, sir, I was considering that very possibility. I guess great minds do think alike. And just to show you I'm not all talk, I'm sending you our toughest, meanest covert commando. Boys, I'd like you to meet Tanya. Hello, gentlemen. Tanya's the best we have. She can kill a man 15 different ways with her bare hands, so a word of advice, don't get on her bad side. Commander, the Soviet general you beat back at Brighton Beach has retreated to the south of France. He captured Cannes and kidnapped all our brass down there. I'll take out their naval port, but you'll have to take care of the rest. Allied forces are spread across Europe, trying to retake what the Soviets have conquered. But you are needed in the south of France, where the Soviets have set up a strategic naval port. They've also captured some Allied officials and are holding them hostage in the area. Special Agent Tanya will assist you on the ground. Bonne chance, Commander. The Soviets have control of the port and are holding important Allied leaders hostage. You'll need to rescue them and take out the port. For that, you'll need Tanya. This is going to be... Yeah, yeah, we're short on time here. Commander, I'm going to be your commando on the ground. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. Enemy units detected. Good job, Commander. The Allied leaders have been liberated, and you've driven the Soviet army out of France. Tanya is currently working undercover and acquiring the latest intel on the situation. If I knew anything, I would tell you! Tanya? Commander! Lieutenant Eva! Huh. Out here in the field, things get a little messy sometimes. Not so neat and tidy like they are back in the office. Can you please brief the commander on our current situation? Certainly. The Reds hold Heidelberg. I'm gonna get Sergei here to give them the location of their headquarters. The only thing I can't do is take it out for you. That, you're gonna have to do on your own. Yes, please! 
You're doing very well, Commander. We've pushed the Soviets back to their headquarters at Germany at Heidelberg Castle. You're going to have to access the city by river, as the Soviets' bases will be heavily fortified and heavily defended. When the time is right, you'll have access to the Vindicator bombers to strike designated targets. Let's drive those Soviets all the way back to Siberia. The Soviets don't know we're here yet, so we should lay low and escort these MCVs up river. Then, set up a foothold by building a base for an assault on the Soviet headquarters. If possible, try not to destroy too much of the city, Commander. Welcome to Heidelberg, sir. I'm Commander Lisette, and I've been assigned to support you in this mission. I might not look tough, but everyone who's underestimated me is no longer with us. Well done, Commander. You've done it! The Soviets are out of Western Europe and far too weak to mount any sort of counterattack. See you back at HQ. Oh, and make some room in that uniform for a new medal or two. The day of destiny has arrived. The Empire of the Rising Sun has risen. The Western Barbarians will bow before us, or their nations will cease to exist. This message was broadcast throughout the world earlier today. Allied leaders have gathered in Geneva for an emergency meeting. The Empire's floating island fortress currently controls the North Atlantic, blockading the entire continent of Europe, paralyzing all... This is unbelievable. While we were busy fighting the Red Menace, this Empire of the Rising Sun was secretly preparing for war. They waited until we and the Soviets were at our weakest and most vulnerable, and now, now they are at our very doorstep. As you can see, it's not just our problem. The Soviets have also been blocked by these naval monstrosities. So. Some of our diplomats have been in negotiations with them regarding a ceasefire, as it's clear that neither one of us can defeat this new enemy alone. Bingham, I heard a crazy rumor that I know can't possibly be true. What rumor are you referring to? That we're negotiating a peace treaty with the commies? Actually, it's more of a ceasefire. So you're telling me it is true? Well, we've already exhausted all of our forces pushing the Russians out of Europe. And now that we have a common enemy... Bullpucky! You know those Russians can't be trusted. They hate everything we stand for. Freedom, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, apple pie... Did I say freedom? Well, it's worth saying again. The leaders of all the other allied nations already agreed. Not me. Not the U.S. of by God, A. Eh? You're making a very big mistake, my friend. You mark my words. The Empire believes it is their divine destiny to wipe us off the face of the Earth. Prove them wrong, Commander. Commander, we're heading to Gibraltar to reclaim our port from the Japanese. I'm going to be helping you out on the ground on this one. If I were you, though, I'd watch your back. I trust these Reds about as far as I can throw them. I never thought I would see this day. The Soviets are now on our team as we face the Empire of the Rising Sun. They'll be lending us the use of their famous commando sniper Natasha, as well as what they can spare from the Soviet Navy. I'm sure Natasha and Tanya will get along splendidly. Try to keep it friendly with the Soviets and retake this vital port that controls the Mediterranean. The Japanese Empire has taken control of our vital port at Gibraltar. The Soviets and the Allies will be working together on this one. Hopefully that will be enough to liberate this crucial waterway. Woo, baby! That's chilly! This is not cold. I once swam Siberia's Lena River. Now that is cold. Why, you little... Commander, permission to speak freely. I hate that chick. Oh, Tanya, when will you learn? From Mother Russia's bosom spring soldiers who are superior in every way. And I am the greatest of these. Good show, Commander. Bloody well done. 
Those assault destroyers you just reclaimed are going to be very useful in taking down those island fortresses. Sir, Premier Chodenko is on the line. Put him through, Lieutenant, gentlemen. Field Marshal Bingham, I wanted to personally thank you for all your efforts in making this partnership successful. Well, that's appreciated, but you should thank our commander here. He's the one who led the assault on Gibraltar. It is indeed a pleasure, Commander. I hope you were satisfied with Natasha's contribution on the battlefield. She's one of our finest. Yes, well, we're going to need Natasha and every other resource at your command if we're going to take down that floating fortress in the North Atlantic. I concur. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. This menace has put a chokehold on all naval movement in the North Sea. But with our assault destroyers and the help of the Soviets, we might just have a chance. Godspeed, Commander. I've never seen anything like this fortress. No one has. It's a completely armed mobile city dominating all waterways in the area. You'll need to take a more tactful approach. Coordinate your attack with the Soviet Navy. I know how you must feel about working with the Soviets, but Field Marshal Bingham is a very shrewd man. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. The Empire's enormous floating fortress is nearby, but their long-range artillery prevents us from approaching. Spotter ships patrol the waters all around. You must find those ships and take them out. New objective received. 